Hey guys, in this week's episode of the Evolve Weekly, we are going to review our latest wheel collaboration with ABEC 11. The wheel's called the F1. It's 107mm in size. It's a beautiful wheel. Let's take a closer look. Chris, I think, you know, thanks for, you know, obviously giving us your time uh, today. And when you were the long board world champion at the time, you said it was around sort of 2000. That was sort of around the time ABEC 11 was incorporated. Did you have your own wheels out at that time and were you using them in, in these competitions? Well, early on I did what a, a lot of people did. And what I did as a, as a kid is I looked around for people who were already established, companies that were making wheels, boards, uh, uh, trucks and things and trying to get uh, sponsored. As I got you know better and had my own ideas about how to move forward, I went to these people in these companies and was giving them some uh, free advice. And what I found out is that a lot of people who own companies just really aren't too open to other people's ideas. So basically being kind of shut down and not being able to, you know, to help other people's company, uh, an opportunity came up where I was, I actually met the owner of somebody who was about ready to start making uh, wheels again. And I was the first customer of this, you know, wheelhouse. We developed some era things. I put my ideas together, you know, with his. And so it's that all that, you know, if you want to get something done right, do it yourself thing. And when the opportunity presented itself, um, you know, I jumped on it. I think you have to be open-minded and inclusive about how to approach skateboarding if you really want to know uh, what's going on. And that's perhaps uh, the jet genesis behind why ABEC 11 has so many good wheels in, in so many, uh, you know, areas. Uh, yeah. I know you've had a, a 107 mil wheel previously. That's the, the electric fly, which didn't quite fit uh, our our boards because they were too wide. So, how did it come about uh, the the new shape? Well, I think Evolve has done some really smart thing in developing um, uh, their lineup of products. Um, not just the fact that they use my uh, fly wheels, but you know, uh, uh, right recognize that the flywheels is a series of wheels that uses the same core so that when you put a, a drive pulley into that or a wheel pulley uh, into that it's going to fit it in the 83 it'll fit in the 90 it'll fit in the 97 and you're right it didn't fit in the 107 millimeter flywheels originally and I think it's kind of funny that your name is Evolve because your product line continues to evolve and it's it's almost like a developer's toolkit to me. It's like, wow, this is great to be able to work. I'm starting to do things that are Evolve compatible because I believe in your program. So I think the smart thing about Evolve is they give their riders options of using a number of different size wheels, but at the same time, you keep it really simple. Mm. When you change from your 83 millimeter wheel and pulley to, let's say, the 97 and pulley, um, you just basically change from the belt and the wheel, mm. and your users know that the bigger the wheel, the faster you go. It's just about, you know, uh, that simple. Let's talk about these flywheels. I want to know, tell me about this formula that you guys have developed, this reflex formula, and uh, give us a little bit of background. By trying, about, trying a number of different things, both in the shape and size of the wheel, how the wheel is formed, and the urethane, we ended up coming up with what we call a reflex formula. Do you want something that's smooth? Do mm. you want something that's efficient? Do you want something that rolls over things well? And you want traction in the corner. Yeah. If for certain applications, electric skateboards being one of them, reflex is ideal. You know, I can actually have Evolve use this fantastic reflex formula in 74A, which is super soft. Mm. It's a very tough wheel. It's an extremely long-lasting wheel with great traction. Yeah. So we've got an electric flywheel, a 107 millimeter flywheel superfly on the market with your name on it, but it still has ABEC 11. So now people know that it's a genuine ABEC 11 yeah. product, but it's through Evolve. If they like black, they're gonna love it. Um, we're gonna leave you to it, man. So I wanna say thanks so much for, you know, for your time. Thanks for helping us uh, get these to the market. Um, super excited about you know, getting these wheels in our customers' hands. Well, thank you for evolving the sport and including me. And as I said, get back to me with some of the feedback from this yeah. weekend whenever you go out and ride, because I, uh, I think there's going to be just nothing but uh, uh, positive vibes coming from these rides. 
Okay, so let's talk about the specs of the wheel now. So the size of the wheel, it's a 107 mil in diameter, so it's a fairly large wheel. The width is 55 millimeter, so that's what's actually touching the ground when you're riding. Uh, it's a 74A reflex formula. That's the ABEX highest rebound formula, and it's super soft underfoot. It feels like butter when you're riding. For a complete set of wheels, it actually weighs about two kilos. Uh, or about sort of 500 grams per wheel. This wheel can actually fit on most of our Evolve products, which is really good. It can work on our Carbon GTs, our Bamboo GTs, also the GTX. Uh, it also fits on our Evolve One board, which is good. Um, it will also fit on our older boards, which is our, such as our Gen 2 Bamboo, and as well as our Carbon Gen 1 Street. One of the limitations we've found with this really large wheel is the wheels actually touch the belt cover uh, because we designed the belt cover for our uh, 97 mil wheels only. You have to take the belt covers off to use, otherwise the wheel will touch the belt cover. We do have a solution for this. We've actually modified our belt cover right now and uh, we'll have these belt covers available uh, in the next sort of two weeks. The ABEC wheels work with our Evolve drive gears and we have two drive gears that fits. That's the 32 tooth, which is the smaller one here. And it also fits our 38 tooth, which is the slightly larger one. Um, it just slots straight in both sizes. So it's compatible with both our gears. Now onto the GT remote. So at the moment we don't have a 107 mil wheel setting, which is currently on the remote. Uh, however, you can set it to 97 mil, but it's not gonna give you the accurate speed uh, that the, the wheels actually produce. So we do have a solution for this um, and we will share with you soon once we have it. Okay, so let's put these wheels to the test out on the track. Okay, so we're here on the track. We're gonna field test these new Evolve ABEC F1s. They're our latest 107 mil wheel. We've got a long stretch. We're gonna test the speed, the rolling feeling, the acceleration and braking, and using both 32 tooth gear as well as the 38 tooth gear. All right, let's have some fun. Nice and smooth. Nice and stable too, big wheels. I felt totally in control the whole time at, at full speed. Nice. So with the 32 tooth gear, the braking is a little softer. It's a little bit more forgiving uh, compared to like a smaller wheel uh, such as the 83 or a 90 or a 97. Um, the 107s definitely have a softer brake feel compared to that, especially with the 32 tooth gear. It's nice and manageable and it's, it's comforting. acceleration the 38 tooth also has more pickup in the beginning with the acceleration than the 32 tooth the braking on the 38 tooth definitely pulls you up faster than the 32 tooth gear so it has a little bit more strength about it but still very smooth and, and manageable which is the better choice uh, it, it just depends on how you like to ride. If you're wanting that faster top end speed, then the 32 tooth gear is probably the way to go because it will have softer braking and acceleration. Whereas if you're happy with you know, a speed of uh, between 40 to 43 k's an hour, the 38 tooth will be, will be a, good, uh, a good winner for you as well because it does have that little bit more acceleration off the start and the braking is slightly stronger. These larger wheels definitely influence rolling capability. So the bigger the diameter, 
uh, it, the wheels just tend to want to keep moving, keep rolling. So there's no denying it, these wheels are big, they are juicy, they feel great underfoot and they make the board go faster, there's no doubt about it. So you just got to choose which gear ratio you prefer uh, to the way you like to ride. So remember, if you're going fast, always wear a helmet and be fully aware of your surroundings when you're riding. Stay safe. Thanks for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Now, these wheels are available online for purchase. So if you're interested, jump online and have a bit of a look. As part of the launch, we will give away one free set to one of our lucky YouTube subscribers. So all you have to do is enter in the comments below why you think these wheels will be awesome on your board and why you think they're rad. Catch you later.